The Masterminds Analysis is sponsored by Figure 4 Radio and is brought to you in association with Toby's Toy Box and Sharpshooting with the Killer. Figure 4 Radio. 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 You have an exceptionally vile mind, you know that? It isn't safe to go inside. And now, it's time for the Masterminds Analysis, proudly sponsored by Figure 4 Radio. Lock it in to the best wrestling show. Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Figure 4 Radio. Um, today we are going for stage 2, or episode 2 of the Wrestle Quiz, brought to us by our friends over in Exposure Entertainment. Go give them a look, it's exposureentertainment.co.uk. They're on Facebook. Um, they've recently put on their first ever show, which was a massive success, mm. uh, the St. Mary Street Massacre. Um, so go over, give them a like, and today we are trying out the second incarnation of their wrestle quiz um my name is the mastermind ollie spring today my opponent again is the killer kai brand good hello good hello um are you gonna take it seriously this time might do maybe and our special uh quiz mistress for the day making her debut or official debut on figure four radio it's the phantom kaylee Hi. So Kaylee's <laughs> going to be our, our quiz mistress. Now, um, I'm just going to throw it out here. Um, the winners, because um, this, of course, happened over in Cardiff at the walkabout. Mm -hmm. um, it was won this time. Um, the score of 34, which is technically only three points more than I got the first time round. But the winning team was Blue Pants, Lever Bates, Mark Andrews, Jimmy Havoc and uh, Nixon, uh, New Nixon Newell, uh, female says, So, Kai, if you and me want to, I'm kind of intrigued by doing this properly, not go against you, but yeah, go yeah. as a team. And That's see the thing. So, what is so it. we can maybe combine it, but um, if we get if either of us get more than 34 points, we've just beaten um, Lever Blue Pants Bates, the winner of of season two of British Boot Camp. Um, one of the most over wrestlers in the south of England, Jimmy Havoc, and probably the north of England, let's face it, um, and a, a very hot up and coming female wrestler from Wales. The the gauntlet is thrown down. Can we get more than thirty four and beat some of my favourite wrestlers of all time? Let's find out. Um, so I guess let's throw it over to Quiz Mistress, the Phantom. Okay, so I guess this is stage one. Stage one. Um, question one. Who was the final world heavyweight champion in WCW? Oh, damn it. Starting with a WCW I question. actually don't know this, because at um, that point I wasn't watching um, WCW. I was watching more of WWF because of my parents fucking got rid of Sky bastards. and TNT. The final heavyweight champion. <sighs> oh, man. I, I mean, it's a guess. Mine's a guess, to be honest. It's a guess. Are we? Are we? Written? Oh, are we on. written? I remember seeing the very last. Mm. Oh, ah. I'm going to change my answer. You still have time to change. I your can't mind. remember what happened on that last episode. Oh, no, and I can't it? remember who it was. Right, uh, oh. screw it. I'm going to go with my original answer. Go. Yeah, yeah. I'm, no, I've, I've backtracked as well. Uh, uh, are we good? We're good. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Question two. I'm good. I'm good. Jerry Lawler co-owned which regional territory? Ah. Jerry Lawler. Jerry the King Lawler. Jerry the King Lawler. Wow, what territory are we on about? Oh, no, no. no well, no. I can't tell yeah. you because that'll Damn give it. away the answer. <laughs> um, so I get confused with what him and Jim Ross was into. Um, Barbecue sauce and podcasts. I think I'm going to get this wrong, but I'm going to have at least one word right in it. <laughs> Oh, Ollie. Okay, I've I've, I've got I've, I've I've locked in my answer, <laughs> locked it in. Okay, question three: Which Oscar-nominated <coughs> film did R O H feature in? Ring of Honor. Oh, 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 oh. No. no, no, I'm out. Screw you, Jimmy Havoc. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I, I I own. I, I've seen this. I own this. 
Although, I've just realised you're sat right. right next to my, my bookshelf of DVDs, but there is a shitload in there, so good luck. No, Your no, no, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Did you just say... Ah, sorry, our, our there we go. <laughs> there we go. Heel turn. Of our DVDs. I think I've just found the, uh, the film as well. Cool. Are we good? It's a brilliant film. It's okay. I'm going to have a serious problem with this, because I don't even know if I can say that surname. Erwin oh, R. <laughs> Shyster has two sons who are both wrestle for <laughs> WWE. What are their ring names? Say that name again. What, what name again? Erwin R. Oh, Shyster. Shyster. IRS. He came out with it Million Dollar Man. It makes you want to say Shyster. <laughs> <Like, Shiza! laughs> oh no, we've got my there. <laughs> <laughs> But I suck at this. I'm going to tell you his real name um, at the when we're doing the answers. I thought you were going to give it to me now. No, because it'll give it away. But we're a team. Give it away, give, give it, it away, away Give it away now. <laughs> I want to um, He was a guy quite tall. He wrestled with a white shirt, tie, and like um, business slacks. Where? WWF. Oh, WWE. Yeah, yeah. So he, it was him and Ted DiBiase. I'm trying to think. Is, have I got the wrong name from him now? Yeah, no, I know that. I've, I've, I've locked mine in, and that's another point for the mastermind. Are we good for the next bit? No. Come on, He has Kai. two sons that are currently in the WWWWF. The d- <laughs> <laughs> You've just written Killer Sharpshoot, haven't you? <laughs> Can I do the next question? Yes, let's do yeah, it. Go for it. Okay. Do, do a question. Question five. Which of the following wrestlers did not feature on SummerSlam Jam? Shawn Michaels, Bulldog, Undertaker, or Macho Man? SummerSlam Jam. I've seen this in an episode of Botchamania, I think. Have you? I think. Can we? Can you go through the four again? Yeah. Shawn Michaels, mm-hmm. huh? Bulldog, mm-hmm. Undertaker, or Macho Man? It's one of two. Well, it says, right, I've gone on here it says you have to click one. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> I, 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 know, I know two of them that definitely did. It was cheesy and corny as fuck. They might remember. The list. <laughs> cheesy and corny. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there was a cheesy. Um, that was, that was, that was, was it par cheesy? Par, 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 <laughs> no, he was one of the midgets that came out with Jerry Lawler. It was cheesy, oh, was cheesy it? and queasy. Oh, oh um, yeah, I remember seeing you that. You remember that, don't you? Yeah. Wow. Shit okay, damn. stage one, I've locked in my five answers. And I have as well. Cool. Okay. Stage. So we're moving to it's stage fa- It's fair two. to say that I think Jimmy Havoc and uh, Green Pants McGee is... Uh, Green, uh, Pants. <laughs> Green Pants McGee. Green Pants McGee. Actually, no, fun, fun fact. Recently in Bedford, I saw Lever Blue Pants um, deliver a Rainmaker to Jimmy Havoc, which is Jimmy Havoc's finisher. Mm. Um, yeah, so I saw them both in the ring together. You know what I've come to wow. realise? What's that? Now I know why your podcasts last so long. Why? It's because All we of talk. the fluff in between. The facts. I've got to prove myself as the mastermind. <laughs> Factoid. Stage two. <laughs> Question one. Triple H originally wrestled under which name? Ooh. Why are we... Okay, I'm gonna throw something out there. Are we on about Triple H as in the gimmick or Triple H as in the man Paul Levitsk or whatever his name is? It just says Triple no, H. Right, then. Screw it, then. I've gone with something, it's maybe a bit obvious, but I've gone with it. <laughs> I've locked it in. Yeah, I know I've got it wrong, it's a bit it's yeah, whatever. Okay, question two. I'm totally going to destroy this name as well. Is it Lever or Lever Bates? Lever Bates. Lever Bates. Blue Pants. Made, <laughs> I was going to be what's her nickname, isn't it? Fuck. Made her debut for Shimmer in which year? Mm, God knows. Um, God probably does know, but God can't help you now. Is God a fan of Shimmer Wrestling? Who knows? <laughs> Meh. I've guessed. She's a tiny woman, though. How tiny's tiny? She came up to uh, Jimmy Havoc's shoulder, I think. Wow. Yeah. And he's small. Mm. Well, you presume to be. But anyway, moving swiftly on. <laughs> Sorry. Question... I'm, I'm being fluffy again. Question three. <laughs> Soraya Knight is the mother of which former NXT and Diva champion? Boom. 
Sorry, can you say that again? I was thinking about... Um, Soraya a... Knight is the mother of which former NXT and Diva champion? Easy. Sweet Soraya. Have you got it? Mm. You don't know this? No. Really? Oh uh, Yeah, I'm not. Soraya Knight. Nah. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, the next question is stupid because we can't do it. Why? Because it has theme music, and I'm supposed to play this theme music. Hum Whose it. theme music is this? Hum, hum it, yeah. How can I hum it if I don't know who it is? YouTube it and play it quickly. Can I just say at this point that I have no beef with Jimmy Havoc because he'll beat the living shit out of me, actually. Oh, no, like no. I'm a fan of him. He, I, I witnessed him almost punch a fan, actually, in Bedford. You missed some real drama. Um, and I, in, all, in all honesty, the, the fans were fucking douchebags to him. And I'm actually a fan. I actually like what he does. Oh, I'm a huge fan, but he doesn't like it. But I just want to beat him at this quiz. Yeah. But I'm totally <laughs> lost. But it's not just him. It's him and Mark Andrews and, and Lever and, and Nixon Newell. All right, I'm gonna attempt to play something. Cool. I don't know how loud my flute. sound is on. It's not very good quality, but. So who is this? Who's who's theme? Who's music theme music? tune is this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna I press the home screen button, and that's gone now. Cool. Okay. So I've got to figure out where I was. Oh, that was that was a uh, question four. Um, question five. Is it stage more... two? Question oh, five. Hold on. Is it more words that you don't know? Do you want a hand with the big letters? It also <laughs> says there's a bonus point for which promotion did he use this theme, but I don't know whether I used the theme from the right promotion or not. Oh, oh. okay. Um... So just have a guess, have a wild guess, and we'll see if either of us get it right. <laughs> but then we, but then we both know what promotion that was from, so we get the point for that anyway. But yeah. I don't know, so we can slightly. Cheat. I don't even know if that one was right. I'm sure Jimmy. Ham <laughs> I'm sure Jimmy Havoc's won a fair few times by cheating. So if we beat him with that point, then you know, we just have to beat him by more than one point, and then that one doesn't count. Okay. If if he has beaten us, can we just go back and re-record this? And <laughs> no, there's in, integrity to this, artistic integrity and honesty. Um, question five. Question five. Who was not part of the original Four Horsemen? Sorry, was question four a two-parter? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, my bad. Is there is there options in this one? Um, there, there's got to be because I a, can name. Because yeah, was Kai not? wasn't. Um, I wasn't. <laughs> Katie, I'm pretty sure you weren't. Oh, yeah, I definitely wasn't. I'm guessing okay, that, yeah. let's go. Um, Ric Flair, Tully Blanchard, mm -hmm. Chris Benoit, mm -hmm. or Arn Anderson? <laughs> <laughs> Is that fucking serious? I've got that one. That's Scream. what it says. No, no, but, uh, in, but uh, I know Katie might not fully understand it, but that's like asking a question of which of these isn't a colour? Blue, red, orange, fire truck. Hmm. Fire truck. There we go. <laughs> uh, and that was, so that that was the right. end of stage two. Stage two is done. Bong. Ding, 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 ding. Anyway. Why was why? <laughs> ding, 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 racial slur. Um, I didn't have any racial slurs. Okay. Quit stage three. Stage three. Yeah, I knew that was next. I, I mean, commercial woo! break. <laughs> commercial break. Yeah. What do you want to advertise? Can it? <laughs> Kill a sharpshooter on automatic figure four. If you really leave. must. It's on, it's on iTunes and Stitcher and go to our website, <laughs> stickballradio.weasley.com. <laughs> Stage three, go. I really hope you haven't just written all that and for every question I'll Okay. Again. Well, I you really, really like your try. Question this. one. Yes. Sorry, what on. was the team name used by Sting and the Ultimate Warrior in the Indies? <sighs> Uh, As in, is it like a tag team name, or yeah, they both yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can't remember what it is. Oh, I vaguely no, remember, but it's it's on the tip of my tongue. And I almost said the word that would have given it away. 
Uh, pardon me. I've got one word um, that I've got down, and I can't think of what the other bloody thing is. Ah, well. <laughs> See, as well, for me, I can't really write down Mastermind's analysis available on Podomatic Blah Blah because it's already my show in this one, so it's like advertising something that's already being listened to. Anyway, let's Are we move. ready? Yeah. Question two. What was what name did Lanny Poffo use in WWF? Funny story for that. There's um, also a bonus point for this round. Yeah. Yeah. Who was Poffo's superstar brother? Uh I put bonus P or B point whatever. Which put a slash. Cool, I've got at least two points this round. So have I. Sweet. His brother was Nikki Bella, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's where that Adam's apple came from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're with China, actually. She had a massive Adam's apple. Okay. Question three. What wrestler won both NWA World Heavyweight and UFC Superfight Heavyweight Championships in the same year? Um, oh. Um, Dan Seven. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ken Shamrock Tank Abbott hey! or Nathan Jones by the way that cheer oh. comes from the Killer Sharpshoot podcast so yeah. you check it out yeah, I, I that love Tank Abbott reference. actually can, give me the question again because I thought I was going to write something down and then okay yeah. what wrestler won both NWA World Heavyweight mm. yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, UFC yeah. Superfight Heavyweight Championships in the same year yeah I'm happy with that so am I ish I love the way I was going to write down the answer before and then we got multiple choice well, there's multiple choice here, so I'm giving it. That's it. I'll awesome. give it. I'll give it. Give you. it. Question four: Which hardcore legend teamed up with The Rock to form The Rock yes. and Sock Connection? Oh no, this is. I'm really hoping that you're not going to be a bastard with the marketing. About to say, is this answer you have to have the gimmick or the actual name? It's the name. Cool. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I think we both know who it is anyway, so you know. Yeah, we're right, we get the point. Mark Andrews. You know what? Screw it, I'm gonna you. give him his other name as well, and just in case you want it, his other two names. <sighs> Mark Andrews, Lever Bates, we're taking you down. As for you, Jimmy Havoc. <laughs> Let's see notice how I don't mention Jimmy because I don't want to fuck with Jimmy. You've hey, mentioned he doesn't know where him I live, like but... loads of times already. <laughs> He's gonna kick your ass. Please don't kill me, Jimmy. Please kill do. Tony Hagen. He's and not can here. I video it. <laughs> Okay, question five. Being exclusive for Fig 4 Rain TV. <laughs> question five. For which promotion did Alex Wright use this theme? Oh, for goodness sake. Really? Uh, who's Alex Wright? I know who Alex Wright is. Let me just get... Hint. <laughs> oh, okay. I have to find another theme tune. Well, we'll Why pro- are they doing this to me? Why, Why? can't they do this to Why, Toby? Why, Nigel? Why? Yeah, Nigel. Toby Boom. didn't have to do this work. Uh, Nigel, as a quick question through the podcast and just to prove that you listen, could uh, one day Figure Four Radio host the Wrestle Quiz? <gasps> That's fucking awesome. Let's do that. I right. would happily go to Cardiff for, uh, f- to pretend I know how to host a quiz. No, no, for, no, I don't want to take part. Fuck hosting. All right, we'll come, especially, and we will screw over Are you guys- Jimmy Havoc, <laughs> Red Hot Pants, come What on, Band <laughs> Right, this is the theme I found. Does it mention the promotion? In the promotion, yes. Yeah. So I've typed in the promotion. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to write something down. It's because I'm giving it away. Pretty much. Okay, Thank cool. Thank you very much. Are That's we, all right. Are we good? So is the answer killer sharpshooter available on? It stage? is, yes. <laughs> Actually, I don't know who Alex is. Uh, is it Alex Wright? Alex Wright. Never heard of him. I thought he was on Only Wears Essex. <laughs> I, I don't watch that, so I have no, no idea what that is. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm, so I'm, that's the end of stage three. Now, I'm going to make a bold prediction here, as I do with all wrestling related things. I think we're going to go to stage four next. Stage five. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. So, stage four. Question one Name the very first ECW PPV. They did give me a list of things to say. Okay, say so them. So I'm going to say them. Oh, okay. I've written it down already. But November let's go. to remember. Mm-hmm. One night stand. Mm-hmm. Cyber slam. Mm-hmm. Or barely legal. Mm-hmm. 
But you've both written an answer, haven't you? I love how I've written that down before it's even come up. Can um, I have them again? Because I haven't. I, I haven't really seen too much of ECW. Okay, so November to remember. Nah. One yeah. Night Stand, mm-hmm. Cyber Slam, or Barely Legal? The ICW show I went to recently was called Barely Legal Tender. Cool. Fun facts, I don't know why. Question two. Question two. Leon White went under which name in Japan? Yep. Yep. I knew I remember that name. Question three. Good friend. Shane Douglas infamously threw down which historical belt? Is it just the... Is it the mm, championship or the mm, heavyweight championship or the... mm, I'm not answering any of that. If you can't guess, then don't try. No, no, I know the promotion... What was his name again? I, I was... Shane Douglas. Oh, Shane Douglas. Shane Douglas. Shane Douglas. Shane Douglas. Same, yeah. The night that ECW became extreme. Yeah, that one. He spat on it as well, didn't he? Something like that. Yeah. But he didn't take a shit on it. <laughs> that was for the pay-per-view. <laughs> Save the big, the big pop. <laughs> Question four. Daniel Bryan trained under which former WWE superstar? Oh, um, oh, don't do that like you don't know and you can't remember, you prick. Gonna, no, 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 I think I know. Oh. No, I'm, I genuinely don't know. Well, I think I... I'll put a name down. Let's find out if I'm right in a minute. Was it Ric Flair? Woo! Was it Hulk Hogan? <laughs> <laughs> Here is what you do, brother. <laughs> another bloody thing. Oh, is that another music question? Yeah. Oh, Exposure, loving the heel turn, loving boom. The music, loving the music. I, I think you should sing them, to be honest. But I, I prefer the humming. Even yeah. though you haven't done any, I'd still prefer it. Mm-hmm. 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 Woo! <laughs> she has no idea. All I can see is eyeballs. Um, just bear with me a minute. So this is quite difficult because there's also a bonus point on this one, so I need to really find. Can you give us the correct bonus point one. question, what? and then we can try and answer it now, yeah, as well as later. Well, no, because I can't. Because how can I get you the the bonus point I said, if so, I can't get the right theme? Oh, is it again the promotion? It's this the. It's not a promotion. It's something different. Okay. The song. Okay. Hold on. Who sings the song? No one sings anything. How do you know you haven't listened to it? <laughs> wow Kai, Kai, <laughs> Kai's got an American badass I'm pissing everybody off uh... I'm going to guess anyway He's going to write down a name You don't even know what it's about No I'm going to say Eric Bischoff 1997 Limp Biscuit, Rolling Assuming it's The Undertaker's song Okay, I think I may have found... Oh, it won't be hard to find rolling, would it? Something. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. Not <laughs> What's the question? So the question is... Because I know who this is. In which competition was this theme used? Okay. And the bonus point is who won the competition? Okay. And it's buffering. That's quite. Cool. I know. I know what the song is. So, is a, so what? What was the competition? Yes. Hmm, how many competitions can there really be? So it just says, "In which competition was this theme used?" And the bonus points: Who won the competition? What year was this song? I'm not telling you. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna guess 2005. Right, that's enough song. Go away. Well, actually, by saying, by knowing what year it is, I think I might have figured out the bonus point winner as well. Yeah. Boom. Do you know who that song was, by the way? No. Who? Audio Slave. Is that right, Kaylee? Don't know. Wasn't and you said no one sang in it. 
I didn't know until I played it. Ah, see, you don't know everything. I've oh. never watched said competition, therefore, how would I know? What competition is it? Oh, British boot camp. No, because I've oh, watched yeah, I that. I haven't even thought about oh, true, yeah. It could have been like tough enough and shit like that. Anyway. Oh shit, it could have been, couldn't it? Round yeah. five. Oh, well. oh well. Slash stage five, even. Stage five. Ding, ding, ding. Question one. How many different versions of the NWO are, were there? Okay. Now. <laughs> is this just in WCW? Or is this that's like... A, yeah, that's a tricky... Play on words, because I know there was another one. And one then you've got ECW. It just, it just says NWO. It doesn't say okay, anything screw it. else. Mm. Okay. Well, you just counted four things. You tapped the table four times. So I'm thinking... So, yeah, know, how many four. different versions? Ver oh, well, oh, I like versions. See, I'm not, I'm not sure of Nige now, Nige, buddy old pal. Get him closer to the uh, microphone. <laughs> uh, okay, technically, technically, they weren't NW. Okay, fair enough. That's right, Nige. Cheers, thanks. About <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Nige. He's just sitting home listening to this thinking, fucking hell, guys, I ain't done nothing. <laughs> I never said nothing. God, I'm a West Country, actually. That's not Welsh. Um, I'm going to have to pick a number, aren't I? Yep. Okay. Mm, okay. Question two. Kurt Hennig wrestled his last ever match with who in TNA? Oh, t he was Ooh. in TNA. Didn't know Ooh. that one, did you? Last ever match. Oh, man, that's I've just learned something. I had no idea he came to TNA. Um, Congratulations. You learned something new. Yeah. Um... Gonna guess a name. Um, what year was it? Doesn't say. So, but I, I, I thought he died a long time ago. But if he was in TNA, no, not that long then, ago. Well, well, TNA's been going for a good ten, ten odd years, hasn't it? Yeah, over ten years. Next question three. The original Sin Cara went by which name in C M double L? Was it A oh, okay. Mystico, <laughs> yeah. B Prince Puma, or C Drago? Or Drago, Drago. however they want to say that. <laughs> Grado or Grado. Grado Grado <laughs> if you will with his souffle. That's so annoying. I, I like Drago and Prince Puma. They're good. Oh, so you just you confirmed that I've got the right answer in that case? <laughs> I know Prince Puma's from Lucha Underground, but I'm pretty, pretty sure Drago was as well. Question four. Uh, yep. Bob Holly started his WWE <laughs> career under which name? <laughs> Woo! That question has got to have come off the back of our last time we did this, surely. Because we mentioned we, we I mentioned who it was, and we all talked about it. Did we? Yeah. Because Toby remembers him. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hopefully. Oh, we're totally taking these guys down. We're yeah. totally havoc. Yeah. Blue pants are going down. You're gonna you're gonna they're gonna be around your blue ankles. By the time we're done with this, that's kind of gone off on a weird tangent, hasn't it? Yeah. Cut that bit out. <laughs> It's alright, you can go on a weird tangent. I'm Is it because we've got another thing coming up? Yeah, yeah the, can I take this time for another commercial break in uh, the Killer's uh, Sharpshooter? Again, on figure4radio.weebly.com, including iTunes and Stitcher. We also have a website, it's figure4radio.weebly.com. We do. Uh, we also have Facebook, facebook.com forward slash figure4radio. Figure and radio. Twitter. Twitter, YouTube. YouTube! Some good stuff on YouTube there. I interview Robbie E twice. You did. Chris Sabin, I've interviewed. I'm just going to load Jimmy this. Havoc doesn't want to get interviewed by us. I, 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 I would be a little bit intimidated. I'd probably smack you one. Yeah. So what's the question? Which wrestler used this theme? And the bonus point, what was his gimmick? Oh! oh. oh fuck, can we just keep this playing for the rest of the night? <laughs> no. Do you, know, do you know this guy? Fucking awesome. Yes. I don't think I do. And that's quite good. Because his gimmick kind of put me off that. Yeah. Yeah. 
We're almost there. Oh. Final, on, then? final stage. Ah. So is this like the bonus round? Well, no, it's the final stage. This is okay. where Ollie now, sees if he is correct in his There is one question research. and now, one question only. Before you ask this question, I'm going to stay because I genuinely don't know what the questions are. After the last time we did Wrestle Quiz, I thought I tried to think ahead and be a smart ass, and I've gone and learned a very specific list of things. Um, because the last time it was the streak, and I said it always comes up in a wrestling quiz. So I should have gone and learnt it. Can I just say, I hope this goes down as well as your uh, Hell in the Cell prediction, the first match you got totally wrong, you yes. lost your money. I did, I lost a shitload of money. I just so hope this potentially. is actually... You didn't um, a sh- lose a no, shitload, I lost you a te- lost a tenner. I lost tenor. a tenner, but I lost the potential Whoa. of winning 300 quid. I've gone and learnt a very specific list Go. of names, and I'm fucking hoping this is going to be the question, but I'm about to find out. If I go absolutely ape shit now, then I've, I'm the king of the world. What's the question? Name every member of DX. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, can, can I ask? Can we ask how many there are? No. If you struggle in about five minutes, I might Ooh. offer you. Ooh! No, there was some dude that appeared for. Yeah. Ah, you bastard, Nigel! But then I guess if you put it down and it's, it's wrong, then it doesn't really matter. Oh, that's but... true. Okay. But yeah, if you get stuck, then I will give you a number. Uh, by the way, one of these names, you know who it is. I just can't be asked to write out his name. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, the initials. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, can you can you give us the... Nigel, um, no, a, fr- a friend or a video pal. Next time, can you do uh, every member of the NWO? Thank you. <laughs> well, can I actually... There was a shitload of Ollie, them at some point. what are you going to ask? Um... Can, can, we, can you just tell us how many there are? How many names you're looking for? Eleven. Really? Mm-hmm. Eleven? Shit. Okay, wow, I've got a long way to go. I've got the first six, as everyone knows them. Hmm. Oh! Ooh. Oh, actually, no, Ooh. I've just had... I've, I've thought of one as well. Um, right, I've got eleven names. I'm happy, I think. Cool beans. I'm not happy, but hey ho. For the record, right, this this is going to be really embarrassing now. I can literally name you chronologically every single winner of the Royal Rumble Go. ever, and I thought that was going to be the question. You are so. I was, I was ready to pop out of my seat. I can, I can tell you every single winner in chronological order from ninety eight, nineteen eighty eight to twenty fifteen. Impress me. Go. Right, uh, nineteen eighty eight. Uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Big John Studd. Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, Yokozuna, Bret Hart, Lux Lugus, um, Shared, mm-hmm. Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Vince McMahon, The Rock, Stone Cold again. Moving into the next era, it went Triple H, Brock Lesnar, Chris Benoit, Batista, Rey Mysterio Jr., The Undertaker, John Cena, then Randy Orton, Edge, Alberto Del Rio, Sheamus, um, John Cena again, Batista again, Roman Reigns. Pow. That sounds about right, yeah. There's, uh, there's potentially one, unless I've miscounted the fingers. I learned them all thinking, yeah, it's going gonna, gonna to come up in the quiz. I'm going to smash it and get like 28 points. Um, and it and didn't now come you've up. just ensured that they will never put it in the quiz because you've just listed all of them. That's probably. true. But, but they might do because no one's ever going to listen to that bit and go, oh yeah, better memorise that bit. Yeah, or or let's, anyway. let's now take that out of Wrestle Quiz number three because he's going to drive to Cardiff and or we don't the want the NWO lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, right. Um, Kai, you ready to swap answers? <laughs> so, yeah, I've uh, lost, by the way. I 30, think... Yeah, you said that last time. I hope you've tried, though. 34 is the, is the, is the mark to beat. Um, I just realised I don't know a lot of shit of wrestling. You really don't, do you? Although, oh no, okay. Um, uh, stage one, question one is absolutely wrong. Okay. Fair enough. Let's right. just go through the answers. Yeah, no, that's cool. I'm just telling cool. him that his first answer is wrong. Okay. Answer one. What Booker it? I... T. Oh, you mother hubbard. And what was oh, it? Yeah, yeah. Give, us a, give us a question as well, though. I'm not reading the questions. No, come on, just just because to I remind think, myself. If I remember rightly, and no, that's right, he beat Scott Steiner. That's why I put St- Scott Steiner. Ah. I couldn't quite remember so, who it was. Yes, who was the final world heavyweight champion Booker in WCW? T. I was, was going to put T. that, but then I didn't. You put Sting. Yeah, I put Scott Steiner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, question two. Jerry Lawler co-owned which regional territory? What up? The answer was okay. Memphis. Yes! You got it right. Yes! Um, you put JFK Airport. I did not. Because it was, oh, you were thinking JK, Jerry King, yeah. Okay. And then put an F in. But J, yeah, you didn't put any effort into that one. Yeah, I forgot it was yeah. wrestling and not an airport. Okay, question three. <laughs> oh. Which Oscar-nominated film did ROH feature in? Oh, shit, it was as well, yes. It was The Wrestler. Yeah. It was The Wrestler. <laughs> you put I Moulin Rouge. I just saw Moulin Rouge <laughs> in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you just picked something. I did. I, I, do have, have, I do have the wrestler, but yeah, I love yeah, that. Yeah, no, love that no, you, now you say that. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bastards. Mm. Okay, cool. Okay, question four. Oh shit. Erwin Fair R. Enough. Shyster had two sons, who both wrestled for the WWE. What are their ring names? I forgot about Dallas. Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas. I forgot about Bray Wyatt and Bo so Dallas. Is that one point each? No. So that's one point for both. Yes. I put okay. the Usos. You did. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Well, they they do have you know a lot of fat dads, but their dad was Rikishi. There you but go. I couldn't yeah, remember what Rikishi's IRS. real real name is. Yeah, far too. Something like that. Yeah, and that was the only two brothers I could think of at the Aww. time. I forgot about Bo Dallas. Okay, question five. That was where I played music at you. Yeah. Which of the following wrestlers did not feature? Oh no, I didn't play music at you. Never mind. <laughs> Which of the following wrestlers did not feature on SummerSlam Jam? The answer was Shawn Michaels. Oh, yeah. really? I thought I, I'm, I, no, yeah, okay. Bulldog, we both went, Undertaker we, and Macho Man were in it. We both went with Macho Man. I yeah. went peanut butter though. Why did you write peanut butter? I said jam. I just thought peanut oh, butter and jam. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> right, so after, I, um, Kai's got zero points. What? No, probably right. Uh, Ollie's got three. Woo! 31 to go. Woo! And I'm taking down Havoc. <laughs> in the most polite, respectful way possible, Jimmy. He's probably got all of them right. Mm. Actually, um, if it's out of 34, then we're... Yeah. <laughs> okay, stage two. Question one. Triple H originally wrestled under which name? Mm-hmm. Terror Rising. Oh, okay. We both, but that we, wasn't Triple H, that was Paul. We, okay, I'm we, both, we both went Hunter Hearst Townsend, but I knew there would have been a, an in, uh, yeah. Indian name. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, it didn't specify whether no, it no, was... No, no, no. Should have said Paul Levesque. No, but that's not Levis, what the question Levis. says. But that was still wrong. The question <laughs> yeah, says I might, yes, I might have guessed Triple that. H originally wrestled under which name? So yeah. I asked the question. Cool. Question two. Did you say it was Lever Bates? Lever Bates. Lever yeah. Bates. Made her debut for Shimmer in which year? The year was 2009. Oh. Yeah, that was close. I guessed, yeah. I think I put 2008, Ollie put 2013. Yeah. Okay. Yep, sorry. Yeah. Question three. Soraya Knight was the mother of which former NXT and Diva champion? Kai's just got his first point. Page. Yeah. This is my house. Did you like my poker face with that? Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, I think you get you guessed it when I. Yeah, you got it in a while. Yeah, no, I got it. Because yeah. didn't she beat her own mother? And that was the question. I Possibly, kind of got I don't it. Know. Yeah, yeah, she did. Okay. Question four. I played music at you again. You did. I think who, we both got it at the same time. Whose theme music is this? Yeah. The answer was Kevin Nash. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can we have it for Diesel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can. Good. A Kate. bonus point. Which promotion did you use this theme? Oh. Was TNA. Oh, okay, but you played you definitely played the WWF version. Yeah. As Diesel. So me and me and me and Kai get points. We get points. But that's not our fault. If um, we, if I, we, I put Kevin Nash and you put Kevin Nash. You both put TNA. Did you put TNA? I put TNA. Yeah. yeah good. Yeah. <laughs> there we if go. If we only win by one point. Doesn't then, matter. Yeah. Was that a bonus point, by the way? Yeah, that was yeah. A bonus oh, so point. you got the two. Then. Yeah, fair enough. Who was not part of the original Four Horsemen? Harry Potter. Well, see, this doesn't actually give me the answer. Okay, it's Chris Benoit. It's Chris Benoit. Cool. Yeah. Points. It, yeah, it literally doesn't <laughs> give me the answer. Fair enough. It's not the first time they've done that, <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm 99% sure it was Chris Benoit. I'm just going to say <laughs> yes to that because the answer's not there. Cool. Um, stage three. Oh. Uh, by the way, uh, Ollie got one, two, oh, yeah. four. I got, um, Kai got four for that round as well. Three. How much have I got in total? Is that seven? Yeah. Cool. Maths. I just said, yeah. yeah, but yeah seven. Stage three. <laughs> Question one. What was the team name used by Sting and the Ultimate Warrior in the Indies? Ollie put face-painted freaks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Blade Runners. Blade Runners. Uh, Fuck, I'll put Flash. Where'd I put Flash? Oh, because that was Flash Sting's dudes. Flash, yeah. yeah. Blade Runners, okay. yeah, that's right. Okay, question two. What name did Lanny Poffo use in WWF? The genius. The genius. Which Bonus like, point. Yeah, that's why. Who, who was Poffo's superstar brother? Randy Savage. But it no, was but, Randy yeah. Savage. You put Harry Potter, not Jimmy Havoc. Ah. <laughs> Which I mean, fuck? technically, Jimmy Havoc is not his brother, but that's not the question. So, <laughs> <laughs> and what's Harry Harry Potter B B point? Oh, that's bonus point. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, so you got you got both points, didn't you? Yeah, I yeah. did. Question three. What wrestler won both NWA World Heavyweight and UFC oh, okay. Superfight Heavyweight Championships in the same year? Yeah. Dan Seven. Yes. Fair um, enough. I put, you Ken put Shamrock, Ken Shamrock. Yeah. Um, basically, it's because I think um, Paul Heyman was cut a promo once about claiming how Brock Lesnar is the only person to hold the UFC Championship and the WWE Championship. And then there was a meme and it showed Dan Seven walking to the ring with both. And they were like, huh, nope. Um, but yeah. Oh. Uh... Yeah. I just remember Ken Shamrock being in TNA and he also has done a lot of the UFC. He's, That's he's, kind of yeah, where I've yeah. gone into my He was started off at UFC and came yeah. to WWE, yeah. Okay, question four. Which hardcore legend teamed up with The Rock to form the Rock and Sock connection? It was Mick Foley. Bang, bang. Okay, question five. I played music at you. You did. For which promotion did Alex Wright use this theme? It was WCW. Thank you, Kai. That's all right, mate. <laughs> Anything to beat Havoc. Yeah. Right, Kai got two points for that round for a total of six. Ollie's got 12 points with a total of five in that one, just getting um, Sting and the Ultimate Warrior question wrong. He got the rest oh, right. I, I did. Okay. I'm on 12. <sighs> Stage four. Name the very first ECW PPV. Oh shit! I just looked at you. Sorry, yeah. Go the ahead. answer was barely legal. barely legal. Barely legal. What did I put? November. November to remember. It's because I'm doing beard ember. Yeah. So it's like moustache, but with a beard. That's it. November. <laughs> Question mm. two: Leon White went under which oh, name in Japan? Shit. Yeah, no. Oh. You put Lionel Richie. Big Van Vader. I forgot Boom. who. I forgot it's who he was. Time. <laughs> I knew the name, but I couldn't think of the wrestler of Vader. It's like, oh shit, yeah, I've just seen your Big Van Vader, and yeah. Famous as being the guy that the first ever guy that um, Exposure Entertainment brought over. Yes. Factoid for ExposureEntertainment.co.uk team people. Yes. Next question. Okay, three. Shane Douglas infamously threw down which historical belt? NWA heavy is it heavyweight? It's NWA heavyweight, heavyweight championship. championship. I wasn't sure if it was like because there there was a lot of different NWA belts. They had the North American heavyweight mm. championship and they had this one and that one. Oli forgot about championship. Can I give him a, a wrong answer? No, that's a point. <laughs> okay, Daniel Bryan trained under which former WWE superstar? I am surprised at you. I think Kai's got this right. Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Who did I put? William Regal. I thought he did. Well, you're wrong, Ollie. I am. All right, jeez. <laughs> what year was the next question? 2005. Sorry, yeah, go on. Carry on, sorry. Question five. I just looked at Ollie's answer. Music. Think, Hang on, that's probably right. It was Audio Slave, wasn't it? In which competition was this theme used? And it was Diva Search. Ah. The bonus point, who won the competition, was Ashley Massaro. Okay. Yes, I put I put King of the Ring. King of the Ring, Booker T. Booker T. You put Royal Rumble and the fans. You always put the fans when you don't know who wins. <laughs> the fans. <laughs> the fans like, always society win. Society won. So yes, it was it was female wrestling. Okay. Okay. So Kai got one point for Shawn Michaels, which I didn't get. So we can add at least one. Point add it to together. My yeah, to see if we beat them as a team. But you're on seven points overall. Have I got any questions that you haven't got wrong? No, only the Shawn Michaels Just the Shawn Michaels training. So, yeah, okay. But don't together put, um, then. Don't, don't no, put no. it on my score. No, 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 I'm yeah. putting it together. Cool. Okay, stage five. Yeah. Question one. How many different versions of the NWO were there? I didn't understand the question in many ways, but the answer is... New World Order, yeah. mm-hmm. Hollywood, mm-hmm. Wolfpack, mm-hmm. Elite, mm-hmm. Black and White, 2000, and Japan. <clears throat> Wow, so how many is that? I put four, and no, I was four. kind of confused four. because black and white turn into that's Hollywood seven. and that. Yeah. It's kind of like, oh, I, I was thinking it was going like NWO and then BWO and then this. But then I thought, okay, then there's Wolfpack, there's the Outsiders, there's NWO. But yeah, either way. There's also four. LWO. What was that? Latino World Order. Oh, was it? Eddie yeah. Guerrero. Okay. 
Uh, but that's we, not NWO. Either. We got that wrong. I have no idea on WCW. So next question. Two. Kurt Hennig wrestled his last uh, ever match with who in TNA? Okay. Goldust. Was Goldust in TNA? He was under was Black it? Rain. It was <laughs> David Flair. Ah. Fucking hell. <laughs> not the, the fact it was that, but it was just David Flair. But that Flair. match was a car crash. <laughs> Actually, no, was it David Flair that had the car crash? Uh, probably. I oh, know it was Hogan's son, wasn't it? That had a car it? crash. Oh, either way, Hogan has it? a son. Yeah. <laughs> probably has many. Um, <laughs> question <next> three: <laughs> The original Sin Cara went by which name in the CMWL? Mystico. It was Mystico. Well done, Kai. Thank you. Thank you for giving me that one. <laughs> I was pretty sure. Okay. Question four. Bob Holly started his WWE career under which name? Sparky Plug! It was Thurman Sparky Plug. Yeah! I haven't got it wrong. Fuck the Thurman bit. We're going with Sparky Plug. We're, we're making up our own rules. Returning heel on, on Mark even Andrews. I read your own. Blotch. Black Machismo. Oh! Yeah. Question Jay, five. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, question five. Which wrestler used this theme? Ooh, that was a G Lethal. J Lethal. Bonus that? point. What was his gimmick? Black Machismo? Yes. Yeah! Does it sound like, yeah. Yeah! He basically ripped off Macho Man and he was black, so he was Black Machismo. Uh, and he used to come out with like... the hat and the glasses. Just YouTube the shit out of Jay Lethal doing impersonations. <laughs> Especially his Ric Flair stuff as well. Fucking brilliant. Um, yeah, another few points for me. Kai got two more points in that round, which means he's on nine. Okay. Final um, stage. How many was I on? 18. 18. Mm. Going into the final. Oh, I haven't been. Uh, final final yeah. stage. You've got all about those people that you've got down. Question one oh. and only. I think you've got Name all Name right. every member of DX. Right. So We have. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. What? No, no, thought, gonna, okay. Let the lady speak. I thought you were going to do yours and then... No, I'll, I'll well, I might yours. as well read them out yeah. and you okay. can tick as you go. Sean Michaels. Yep. Rick Rude. Uh, yep. Triple H. Yeah. China. Mm-hmm. Tyson. Mm-hmm. Billy Gunn. Mr. Ass, yep. Yeah. Road Dog. Jesse James. X Pac. Yep. Yeah. Tory. Yep. Yeah. Hornswoggle. <sighs> and Stephanie McMahon. Oh. Kai got eight for that. You got ten for that. That's not bad. Um you also put Arnold Swizz. So Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Mr. Sack. <laughs> no, Mr. Suck and Benedict It. Suck it. Ah. Mr. Suck. Okay. So, Kai got guessing. a grand total of 17. How many did I get right? You got 28, mate. 28? Ah. Oh. Six points short of beating some of the best talent this country. Fuck you, Havoc. Well, sorry for, um, if you want to clean this up, screw you, Havoc. My um my my wrestle quiz streak against Kai is intact, I guess. I'm well, um, 22. I might you know. Yeah. Um. Genuine. I think maybe next time we should just go to Cardiff for shits and giggles and and take part. Could we do a live podcast there? We probably well, could. We, well, we probably could. We can try. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that was um the second ever wrestle quiz brought to you in association with um exposure entertainment exposureentertainment.co.uk props to them for finally put on their first ever big show they brought a lot of big names over and had the saint mary street massacre absolutely gutted we couldn't be there but it's a long ass way to get home and commute for work the next day for us um i'd like to say a massive thank you for her debut um on figure four radio from the phantom kaylee southern Woo. have you had fun um I suppose. Yeah, you've learnt lots today and you've you've learnt how to YouTube wrestling videos and yeah, we've had a good laugh. Um, Kai, thank you very much for being my opponent again. The Killer Kai Brand, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for having me. Um, check out all our other podcasts. There's The Killers, Sharpshooter, there's Toby's Toy Box. There's a few old school ones as well for, the, uh, for those who want to delve back into the archives. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we've got um, Weebly, iTunes, Stitcher... All that sort of stuff. I'm sure if you listen to us now, though, by now you know exactly where we are. Mine has been the Mastermind Dolly Spring, still undefeated against the Killer Kai brand. We will see you next time on Figure 4 Radio. Goodbye. Figure 4 Radio.